So you're looking to try out cardigans or you've already tried it and you think you don't look good? Well, that's false. You didn't watch a Johnny Ty video. Well, actually, I didn't make it yet. That's why we're here. So I'm gonna show you the ways of the cardigan. Let's get it. First off, it's not the cardigan, it's you. And I don't mean that in a rude way. A lot of us have a limiting belief when it comes to certain pieces, certain styles, and I feel like the cardigan is definitely one of them. So that is reason number one. Stop limiting yourself, give it a try. Who knows, you might actually like this a lot more than other pieces you're wearing. And by the way, we're gonna be talking about cardigans in a streetwear fashion sense versus a casual menswear sense. There are plenty of other great videos if you lean more towards that casual menswear look. So now I'm gonna rapid fire a few reasons why you look bad in these pieces it's your color choice, your underlayer choice, and your buttoning choice. So let me address those. Color choice. You're just starting off with colors that you're just not used to yet. So like with any garments, as guys, we usually gravitate towards those neutrals and darker colors, and that's exactly where you should start. So anything that's vibrant and very saturated, you should take your time on that. And this also applies to color blocked pieces or patterns, unless it's simple like this right here. So you want to start off with a gateway piece. I imagine most people's gateway garments when it comes to wide fit pants was a pair of cargo pants. This will open up the doors of curiosity and you'll see exactly why cardigans are so awesome. So if you're already comfortable with colors, which if you watch my channel, you're probably in a good place. It's going to come down to the other colors that you're wearing with your fits. Personally, I think wearing more colors with a colored cardigan really takes away from the piece. You want to make this the statement piece of your fits. So everything else you're wearing should just complement it. Now that's my opinion. Obviously, I personally don't wear a bunch of colors all together. I like colored pieces by like making those a statement piece. If you're just comfortable with colors, by all means, do your thing. I have a template that works every single time when it comes to cardigans, but I'll talk about that in a sec. Let's keep it moving. But first, I wanna talk about this cardigan right here from the sponsor of today's video, Cotton. So Cotton has a variety of cardigans that I enjoy. I showed the pattern one earlier. This one comes in blue or black and it's just silky smooth and very comfortable to wear. From the texture to the pleats and overall shape, this is a cardigan that will make you stand out and just feel confident once you throw it on. And this blue is just perfect. It's not too vibrant, it is a bit more on the muted side. And I feel like blue is something all of us can easily wear because we're so used to wearing denim jeans and all that. So I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's a great piece to start off your cardigan collection, but don't let me forget get to mention Cotton's other pieces. We got this striped tee right here, banger piece. You got a thick collar, a piece that has the perfect shape. It's very versatile and a beautiful oversized fit. I also got two pairs of trousers from them, one that I'm wearing right now. We got a pinstripe one and also a waffle knit crew neck, which when taking a look at every piece, you know this is going to stay in your wardrobe and be worn consistently. Even though it's much more casual, the pieces over at Cotton have a timeless look and can be worn in so many ways, which is much more conscious and sustainable to your wallet and and your style. And man, Cotton has become one of my new favorite brands for their take on minimal fashion with a touch of streetwear. So make sure you head over to Cotton, pick up a piece. They definitely have something for everyone. And if you want a hefty discounts, use code JohnnyCotton15 to save yourself some money. Appreciate y'all support and thank you Cotton for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to it. The third reason, which is your underlayer choice. I know we're all used to throwing on a hoodie underneath every single jacket. That's a classic look. When it comes to cardigans, it looks terrible. Cardigans expose a lot of your upper body. There's no collar, which in turn will expose a lot of the hoodie if you're going to layer with the hoodie and it just doesn't look right. If you go on Pinterest or the explore tab and you type in cardigan, you're rarely ever going to see anybody wear a hoodie underneath a cardigan. If you can pull it off, that's going to make you stand out even more, but it just never looks good to me. It also might be the extra fabric of a hoodie, especially oversized ones. A lot of that extra fabric can just build up on the sleeves and it just never looks right. And so this means you can probably disregard long sleeves and crew necks as well. So you're really just left with a tank top, the tee, or a button up. And for fall and winter, probably the turtleneck. Personally, I just found that the plain white tee is the best way to start off with cardigans. Now you guys know me, I wear tank tops underneath everything. I think it looks great, especially if you're in good shape, but don't sleep on the oversized button ups, kind of like what I'm wearing right now. This piece keeps it casual yet sophisticated and a bit more mature, but you can still wear them with casual pants like cargo pants. You can also throw on headwear and a casual sling. Up next, your buttoning choice. You should probably never do it. This is just a good rule of thumb, but I'm gonna say it again. Just don't do it. Depending on the cardigan, when you button it, you'll get these little humps. The fabric will be pulling each other and it just looks 
awful sometimes it can look good obviously you want to experiment around but personally i found whenever it flows this is when the piece looks great now i promised you my template that works every single time so here it is grab yourself a white top anything that i mentioned earlier a regular t-shirt a tank top a button up black trousers you can also go with cargo pants sneakers or boots and then the cardigan that's it i have a ton of cardigans and this works every single time you're letting the cardigan do its thing and just switch around the shoes switch around the pants maybe swap the headwear throw on some slings that's really it guys but we got a few more reasons why you look bad in these pieces let's keep it moving The next reason is you just might need to take it to the tailor. This is obviously a problem with any garment that's made. It's made for the average build. So what I like to do is I like to create a huge pile of clothes I want to tailor. And then I take it to the tailor all in one go. You don't want to do it one at a time because I promise you, you're going to be lazy about it. So yeah, you can try more cropped fits. You can hem it up a bit. Completely up to you. But when it comes to the sleeves, I kind of like it when it drapes a little bit. That's just my opinion. But obviously, that's your choice. Now, the final reason is the differentiators between the cardigans may actually be hurting you. What am I talking about? So there are cardigans out there with a really heavy texture like this one. But I think a majority of the time, a simple knitted look will suit you well. There may also be some crazy colors or patches and your style just might not be ready for it yet, which is the whole moral of the story and just fashion in general. You want to try and experiment around with it and see what works for you. So yeah, let me break down some fits for y'all. That way you guys can get some inspo. I'll see you outside so our first fit is going to be inspired by asian streetwear we got these japanese cargo pants some boots like i mentioned earlier the oversized button up i'm telling you layering with these pieces is perfect for the springtime now i do think it is a bit too long for this particular fit but i'm okay with it we've got my choice made two-tone cap and we're just following that stormtrooper vibe you see this a lot in japanese streetwear it's very tasteful and of course it makes putting together fit very easy next fit we're gonna roll with a navy cardigan yeah we're going with another oversized button up this one has pin stripes which adds a subtle detail we got wide fit cargo pants yeezy power phases a very simple look that you're going to see me in often if you ever come across me in person and then we're going to go back inside and i'm going to show you a more monochromatic look so we're going to be rolling with this vibrant cardigan right here so with monochromatic colors you want to work with the same exact color just different shades tints and so our pants are a lighter mint green we got the two-tone cap as well and this definitely fits the spring vibe that we're in right now and just for fun we'll try a complimentary look so we're going to go with this burnt orange almost red cardigan i think it looks good so yeah that is why you look bad in cardigans it's more of a mindset thing and you're just overcomplicating it again as a guy if you wear a cardigan you're definitely already going to stand out a lot so if you found this video helpful make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel send this to a friend that could use some help with their cardigan and until then stay fly check out cotton deuces